Hi, thanks for touching base with Touching RC, and today we're going to be seeing what we could do with some servos. So let's go check it out. So I just got done with the little car and I will show you how I built it. And on the bottom, real simple motor setup, just a little servo motor. Uh, sorry about that. Strapped onto a servo arm, zip tied, and the ESC I just glued off to the side right there and the potentiometer is right next to it. And uh, you make sure make sure to set it to the middle so it can go either direction. And since this is a three wheeler type setup, just uh, put a little support <laughs> and it kind of wobbles around on it. Um, if you do build one of these uh, three wheeler setup type things, uh, make sure to make it pretty long because when you go to turn to the left, it pivots in and then it just rocks around. I'll show you real quick. So, kind of pivots around on that. Um, but other than that, it drives really good. Um, it turn it's really stable to go in one direction, but the other is just wacko. I mean, it's controllable, but it's just uh, kind of tips over. But with that support there, that helps a lot. And underneath the hood, it's uh, really simple too. <coughs> I just used a Eshin 260 milliamp battery with a Spectrum Microlight receiver, and that works. It seems to work really good. I just put a JST on my. Uh, Eshin battery because the other one kind of got worn out. And, uh, so I just switched out the connector and plug it straight into the receiver. And uh, there's just a, I put a servo on the top of the hood for my shooting mechanism. And this is also really simple too. Um, sorry about that. It is actually just a little rubber band, a drinking straw, and some plywood and a servo and some barbecue shears. That is all you pretty much need to make this little thing. Um, you just need the plywood and I actually put some tape because my ammunition, well, for the straw, it's a little bit too small. So I had to put a little bumper there so it would uh, stay there. 
so that yeah you just want to make sure that you put that in so it does the rubber band doesn't slide underneath your ammunition and actually just use q-tips um, and the reason why I use those q-tips is because well actually let me show you real quick So, if you've enjoyed that video, um, just about goes to show you that you can do anything you want with a broken down servo and uh, some Lego with some foam board. So, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe if you like what you saw, and we'll see you in the next video.